brought to you by Hooters. Help Hooters support the troops. Buy a Hooters calendar for the troops overseas, and Hooters will get it there for the holidays. <laughs> Bill wants one of those just for himself. Take with him. Like, of course. <laughs> Put your eyeballs back in when you're ready. Uh, in less than 24 hours, the Downtown Athletic Club will present the Heisman Trophy to a worthy winner. But our next guest is the man college football really should be celebrating. This Florida State defensive back will be one of 32 Rhodes Scholars as he heads off to Oxford next year to study. Right now he's hanging out with the family back east and joining us from the big NYC, Seminole Safety Myron Roll. Hello, Myron. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, we're doing great. Thanks so much for joining us because to all of us up here, you're really the best story going in, in college athletics and maybe sports in general as well. Uh, take us back to November 22nd, because that's the day you had to interview for the Rhodes Scholarship, and then you had to fly off to Maryland to play in an ACC game that night. Tell us the whole process. What was that all about? Well, the day was uh, certainly remarkable. Um, I woke up around 8 uh, in the morning and um, had to get to uh, uh, the interview site in Birmingham, Alabama. That's where they were interviewing for the finalists of the Rhodes Scholarship. I had to get there around 8.39. Wanted to keep the day pretty routine as far as football was concerned. So I was listening to my iPod, stretching, uh, visualizing myself, uh, making plays in the game later that night. But I was also thinking about some of the questions that uh, the interview panelists were going to ask me. Uh, got into my interview about 12.50. It was a 20-minute interview with six um, former Rhodes Scholars. Uh, once I was done the interview, uh, you know, I waited two hours. All of us were waiting two hours, all the finalists waiting in a room. They made the announcement who won. Uh, my name was called. I uh, called my mother, called my father, uh, told them about the news. They were very excited. Got onto a plane, uh, head, headed to College Park, Maryland, uh, in time for the second quarter, and we ended up winning the game against Maryland. And uh, all together, it was just a fantastic day. Hey, hey Myron, that, that is phenomenal, man. I, I just take my hat off to you. I, I, I didn't realize that uh, those guys out of Florida State were that smart. <laughs> but, but um, no, man, just... You talked about the process. Uh, what kind of questions were they asking uh, you in the interview? Well, they knew I had interest in medicine. Uh, they knew that I was a pre-med student, and um, I wanted to go into medicine later on in life, be a physician, be a neurosurgeon specifically. So they asked me questions about health care in the United States. They asked me questions about, um, you know, if I was on President-elect Obama's uh, uh, cabinet, um, you know, what uh, suggestions would I give him to improve health care? Wow. Ask me questions nice. about uh, man. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. What was your answer? What was what, you, what was the answer to that question? Dude, it's you, only an hour show. I know. Well, <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> well, I asked. I told. I, I told them that uh, I, if I get them on the phone and tell them that uh, you know our country has too many people without health care, uh, too many people without health care insurance, and they they're they're losing it because of uh, jobs, the economy, and uh, I, I would uh, push for a more universal health care system, one that uh, allows access uh, to people in the United States to don't have the money to afford health care. I think health care is uh, uh, it's not a right. You know, it should be, uh, you know, it is a right. It shouldn't be a, a privilege. And uh, if we look forward to doing that, uh, we make it a lot easier for people to get treated who, uh, who need the treatment. Wow. Man, that's phenomenal. Just, my, you know, I'm just going to say <laughs> Dr. Roll. Uh, Dr. Roll, it's a pleasure to meet you. Bill Bellamy here. I'm very fascinated with uh, your skills as a football player and the, and the intellectual side of it at all. How are you able to be such a prolific athlete and study at the same time? I'm just curious because it requires a lot of effort. It does. It does. It requires a lot of time management mm -hmm. and uh, understanding uh, what's important, prioritizing. Right. You know, I uh, grew up with a family uh, that uh, put an emphasis on education and on academics. Uh, and, you know, football and sports were secondary. They, uh, you know, I love sports. I love sports. I love football. And I I love to compete, but at the same time, you know, I have bigger goals, and I know that education was going to be the key to uh, my future and my success. So uh, getting to Florida State and, and balancing the rigors of playing uh, Division One college football and, and playing for, you know, the best coach in college football, in my opinion, Bobby Bowden, uh, and then at the same time taking pre-med classes and achieving the Rhodes Scholarship, it took, uh, you know, discipline to, uh, to manage my time and, and value uh, the time that I do have, the little time that I do have. Listen, if most kids in college these days finish within six or seven years, that's a miracle. You played <laughs> Division I college football and finished pre-med in two and a half. So now you have the opportunity to head over to Oxford. Yeah. But you know what? You're, you're pretty good. You're second team all ACC as a safety. So the NFL's probably looking at you. Yeah. If you had to choose one, which one do you choose? Well, I, I choose Oxford. I choose the Rhodes Scholarship, mm. and I... Uh, 
I'm going to go there in October. School starts in October. Go there for a year. Uh, my master's program in Oxford is medical anthropology. It's a one-year program. And then after that, I'm going to continue to train. I'm going to continue to train while I'm in England and then uh, put myself in uh, for the, the, the draft that year and uh, come back and uh, play professional football. And uh, hopefully they'll still have a spot for me. <laughs> uh, Dr. Rowe, uh, I'm going to keep saying Dr. Rowe because I know that's where it's going to be. Uh, uh, Dr. Rowe, uh, what, when it's all said and done, how do you see your legacy? Wow, I see uh, my legacy as someone who, um, you know, focused on school, focused on education, made that a priority, uh, but at the same time, you know, uh, used his talents on the football field, in the community, to help uh, other people. You know, I want to be someone, remembered as someone who had, was given a lot of God-given ability, uh, was given a lot of talents, had wonderful support from his family and friends, but didn't just use those talents and skills for myself and, and keep them in-house. I use it to impact and change the world. I, I'd love for that to be my legacy. All right, All right Mr. Smarty yeah, Pants, let's, let's see job. how smart you are. We're going to throw a trivia question your way. You all ready for it? Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, Put here we go. Put your seatbelt on, Dr. Roll. Here we go. Uh, which Heisman <laughs> Trophy winner is currently getting his MBA at Northwestern? Ooh, which Heisman Trophy winner? Uh, man. Come on, uh, Dr. Roll. <laughs> Uh, is it, is it Eddie? Is it Eddie George? No, no it's it's Eddie. Eddie George, he's sitting right there. Yeah, come on, Dr. Rowe, the Rowe Scholar. You should know that, Doc. <laughs> Good job, man. That away. Wait. So I want to know from a football sense. You remember, Eddie was great when he won the Heisman Trophy in 1995. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But let's say that, that he was wearing number 27 back in his college days with that half shirt and everything so we could see his abs, <laughs> abs of steel. He busts through the line against Florida State, right. and there's Myron Rolls sitting right there. Okay. What happens? Tell, what me how the, tell, tell me how the play finishes. Well, well you know, my, my cousin is Samari, uh, and he's, yeah. you know, uh, you know he, he's, he's told me uh, some good things about Eddie, his running style, and, and how hard he was a tackle. And I remember watching Eddie play. Um, so, so I guess what I do, you know, I'm a six foot two, 215 guy too. And I, I like to hit you up high, but, uh, you know, I just try to, try to come hard, hit hard and hold on and wait for my teammates to come help me. You know? <laughs> smart man. Smart Very man. smart. <laughs> Dude, if that was your first answer in the Rhodes interview, that would have gotten you Oxford right away. All That's right. a good, smart answer. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey buddy, listen, it was an honor and a privilege to talk to you today. Uh, best of luck over in Oxford. Happy holidays and continued success, and hopefully none of us will need you as a neurosurgeon uh, one day, but yeah. if we do, we're, we're definitely calling on you. All right, buddy? Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right, Myron Roll from Florida State. and uh, That's a great that's story. A, that's a Best one of the year. Story. Man. I, I'm telling you, you know what? Phenomenal. Sports Illustrated was an easy pick to make Michael Phelps the sportsman yeah, of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have made this kid. Easily. Easily. You know what? Pretty good. Pretty darn I, I like that emphasis on education. It's real like nice. It. So you just uh,